Good morning, and today is my favorite day. This is the day I get together with my fellow Wing Chunners, and we train together. Now, seven days a week, I teach one-on-one -on -one online, but today is the group class. Now, although I'm training today, it's still a zero day. Now, I haven't been able to make it to the hot springs, and I don't like going to the hot springs on the weekend. So maybe tomorrow I'll be able to hit the hot springs. However, the hot springs does cost money. And I kind of get funny because a lot of times when I think of spending money, if I don't spend money to go to the hot springs, that means I make money. That's the whole reduction process. All right, the cost of my automobile, the cost of storage, the cost of my devices online and the cost of food and coffee are my highest expenses. And then we also have the cost of toiletries, medicinals and recreationals and clothing. And of course we can't forget the various floating philanthropic ventures such as helping other people out you know, you never know when you run into somebody that is less fortunate than you. And it's always an honor to be able to give to them whatever you can. I would say one of the main motivations of trying to monetize my channel here is so I can be more giving to those that are less fortunate. See the likeness? It's like we're twins. The tradition of Christian Judeo culture has the story of Lot's wife. That story is a story of a disobedient woman who turns to gaze at the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah. And because it was forbidden for her to do so, she was turned into a pillar of salt. I'm pretty sure that's not what's meant by salt of the earth. I don't know, maybe. Which kind of makes me think about the story of Wing Chun being a story of a disobedient woman. Even the story of It Man being a disobedient master. And really it's not a gender thing, it's a human thing. It's the story of humanity seeking integrity and being disobedient towards the innate corruption and fighting the pathetic cowards that steal seats of power. You know, the kind that masquerade as authority and betray the public trust. This really is the Wing Chun story, the story of the struggle to be more humane. And although that challenge is monumental, it's also very simple. The goal of humanity is to love and to laugh more. Two Hawaiian words really are much more apropos, and that is aloha and kuleana. Hey, I'm a big fan of the English language. It's the only language I actually know, but some words just don't exist in the English language. My kuleana is a deep sense of responsibility that goes beyond the word of responsibility. And aloha can mean I love you, and it could also mean goodbye. Let me just say that in America, due to our gun culture, we have an epidemic of false vibrato. Bunch of scared people that act tough. In the words of a Henry Rollins song, if you gotta have a gun, then you're just another pig. Now I'm a big gun fan, but let me tell you something, Americans. If you can't treat people with respect, if you can't communicate with people in a civil manner, then you don't deserve that badge and you certainly shouldn't have a gun. And that goes for cops and civilians alike. America, the police state has turned into the military state. You let that happen when you can't cooperate and coordinate with your fellow human beings, then that lays the path for authoritarianism. These supercomputers that we all carry in our pockets are great management devices 
yeah, there's a lot of us, what, 8 billion of us, but we also have phenomenal management devices. We don't need to slip into authoritarianism. Sure, entertain yourself, distract yourself from your mortality, but for God's sakes, use the supercomputer in your pocket to manage your world and the world around you more effectively. All right, end of sermon. I gotta get ready for some Wing Chun. Wing Chun class is over. Some classes I talk, and I talk more than I even want to talk. I enjoy training and getting the training in as well. Oftentimes, I feel it's important to verbalize and reflect on the art that we're training in. I mean, you can do Wing Chun at any time. We don't often have the luxury of intellectualizing with another human being. It kind of carries on the tradition of my Sifu, who would also have you stand and listen to him for an hour or two or so. With the beginner students, I don't do anywhere as much talking. But with the folks that have been working with me for a while, I tend to talk a lot because there's not so much for them to learn in the system as much as there is a need for them to make the connections, connect the dots, to see the whole picture and to be able to comprehend the profoundness of the art. As a beginner, I don't think you really can comprehend that deep profoundness. It's not until you understand the language of Wing Chun that you can then appreciate the story that it has to tell. And everyone that learns Wing Chun and embraces Wing Chun as their way of life adds to that story. I've been called a word guy and perhaps that's true. I really appreciate being able to use what, the only language that I know to use the English language in order to communicate Wing Chun. Now, just as words can have different meanings for different people, it may even be more so true of Wing Chun as a physical language may mean different things for different people. But I would have to argue that the physical language of Wing Chun remains more consistent in its message than any verbal language. But still, anything that I say about Wing Chun is pale in comparison to what you learn from simply doing Wing Chun, doing the Siong Tao, thinking the Siong Tao. My girl out there, Louise, on the East Coast, sent me a text that filled my heart with warmth and joy. She said that I have been in her thinking, which is, of course, saying that Wing Chun has been in her thinking. <laughs> it's so awesome. Dried mangoes, unsulfured, unsweetened. You know, sometimes with these dried mangoes, they over-dry them and they're just not good. These Trader Joe mangoes seem to be good every time. Just the right texture. And my Christian upbringing, I just get so preachy on Sundays. You're getting this live. I've committed to a daily vlog here. So I record it and then wake up in the morning and send it out. With this daily vlog, I'm doing what I wish all my friends and family would do. I think if everyone or if almost everyone would vlog on a daily basis, we would be more empathetic towards one another. I think daily vlogging is a great exercise in putting your best foot forward. Uh, we're not trying to share our entire lives here. You know, the interesting parts or maybe the familiar parts. Yeah, like my grandma used to say, if you want something done right, you gotta do it yourself. But I just want you to think about this for a quick second. If all the people that you subscribe to, most of them probably making six figures, if those people turn around and subscribed back to you, that would be fair, right? This is what I don't understand about the Hollywood model. Rock stars, movie stars are where they're at. They're rich and famous because the people put them there. However, those rich and famous people don't make us rich or famous. I've never thought that that was very fair. I mean, they just get way too rich and way too famous. And now with the internet, we have the ability to make each other rich and famous. Maybe not 
quite as rich and quite as famous. But I think we have the tool to bring everyone up. The practice of Wing Chun just gives you the fortitude to survive truth in real time. Truth, you can't handle the truth unless you train Wing Chun. All right, end of sermon, I gotta eat. This 100 watt Renogy high efficiency panel so far has given me 80% or rather 80 watts, which is pretty good. 80 watts out of 100, I'll take it. And right now I'm only getting 51. That's still pretty good. Now, I don't have the money to do it now, but I would say ideally having two of these panels up here and drilling two holes into the vehicle would be ideal. Yeah, I mean, drilling holes and running this line would be much better than just having it stick out of the window like that. And I don't want the window to crimp and damage the wire. So these two small solar panel batteries and two 100 watt panels would be sufficient for running the refrigerator and also for running the iPhone and the iPad. And you could charge other things with 200 watts of solar going into those units. It would be no problem running the refrigerator the iPhone and the iPad 24 seven, plus charging various electrical appliances. I'm still in recuperation mode today. Body's still a bit sore, but I definitely feel better than yesterday. If I looked at my diet like a chemist, we would have to say that a high dose of protein and stimulants are responsible for my recovery. I would have to say that the balanced diet is a very dynamic affair. I'm struggling to monetize, to get my thousand subscribers and all of that. But the beautiful irony is that struggle in itself is content. So stay tuned for the struggle. And here is today's tip from a nomad. When you are in town and let's face it, a lot of times we're forced into spending a little more time in town than we would otherwise desire. So when you're in town, it's always best to keep it clean. And to that extent, I hope over the next couple days, I'll be able to get into the inside and really give it a good cleaning. We are all just standing on a tiny, blue dot think of the internet as the gold rush if you will there was more money made selling tools to the prospectors than was made by the prospectors there is a whole industry around getting people to produce quality content so they can sell their products remember the biggest hit that hollywood gave us on television also produced a president. Reality, scripted reality. Now they're getting it for free. They just want good production. If you follow content protocols, you too can get a little bit of the pie, a little bit of, little piece of the, little taste of the pie. But it's a big pie. It's a multi-billion trillion dollar pie.